Greetings and welcome friends, Mr. Wadi here. We're taking a look at last night's quest, page 185. And uh, we learned a new form last night. Uh, yes, no, uh, psh, in the past, we learned a new form called uh, point slope form. It's a more powerful form than slope intercept form. It might be the most powerful form of equations of lines, although there's strengths and weaknesses to each of them. But uh, point slope form, the nice thing about it is that when you know the point and you know the slope, you can plug it into point slope. The, the, we're, we're still working on the jingle there. Uh, but this is the idea. Uh, with this equation, by looking at it, you can read the slope as the number in front of the x. And let's see. And you can find a particular coordinate, a particular point, x1, y1, that it passes through. So x1, y1 is a point and it has that slope. So when I uh, am given a point and slope, I can label them accordingly, x1, y1, and my m is equal to negative six, and I'll just plug it into point slope form. So y minus y1, and uh, one of the things you'll notice is that both of these are subtracted, so it's actually always the, the opposite. Opposite, O-P-P. All right, opposite for both of those. So y plus four mm. uh, equals negative six parentheses x minus seven. And there is the equation of the line in the point slope form. I think that's all they asked me to do. Bam, done. Let's go to the next problem. Do -do -do -do. Oh, wow, this mystery is getting even more interesting, friends. I don't have a slope, but I do have two points. Two points. Uh, so let's see, x1, y1, x2, y2. Uh, so I've got more points than I need. Uh, I need to find the slope, though. A couple ways you could do that. You could find the slope doing the rise over the run uh, between any two consecutive points. Uh, looks like actually this also this point would have worked down one over two maybe it would have been better down one over two uh, So it looks like and let me just verify my scale. That was yeah. Yeah, those are counting by ones mm -hmm. So uh, the slope appears to be negative one over two and Then I can use either of those points to write point slope form. So let me show you uh, So let's let's use the first one. It looks uh, well actually the second one's got smaller numbers. I'm We'll write both though. So y minus four equals negative one half uh, parentheses x plus six. That's one form of this line, one version that you could have written. Or, and you don't have to write both, I was just pointing out that we all could have had uh, these different answers if we wanted. Uh, x uh, minus a negative two is plus two. All right, so depending on which point I use for my point slope form, I'll have different equations. Now, if I couldn't read my slope off of the graph, it is possible to find the slope using the slope formula, uh, where you do y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. So if I was to uh, calculate the slope using this means, I would have found m is equal to two minus four over uh, negative two minus a negative six equals two minus four is negative two. Negative two minus a negative six is negative two plus six, right? Because of the double negative. Er, man, still complicated. These signs are different, so I subtract the numbers. Six minus two is four, and I take the sign of the more influential, which is positive. Uh, this reduces, my friends. Uh, two goes into two once. Two goes into four twice. Good times, good times. So I'm going to have, actually I'll write it in the green, m equals negative one half. And I get the same thing as if I read it off the graph. Oh, I'm, I missed. There we go. Same thing. All right. So uh, if I couldn't read the slope off of the graph, I'd use the slope formula. But that's still the idea. For point slope form, I want to... Uh, Right, find the slope and a point. Now, oh, behold, it says write the equation in slope intercept form. Now, this one, we actually have the convenience of being able to, looks like we could read the y-intercept right off the graph. But let's say we don't. Uh, the other way you could do that is by um, 
taking point slope form. Let's see. Uh, yeah, I'll take this one over here and converting it. That's right. These things are transformers, friends. All right. Dun, 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 dun. Point slope form is evolving. Wow. This is so great, guys. We're going to change forms. Distribute uh, y minus 2 equals negative 1 half x. Negative 1 half of 2. That's weird. Uh, 2 times 1 is 2. 2 divided by 2 is 1, and it still has the minus sign. And how do I solve for y, friends? Y. Yeah, add 2, both sides. And I believe plus 1 is what I saw as my potential y-intercept. So I could have just used slope and intercept to figure that out. But I do want to point out, being able to convert from point slope to slope intercept form is a valuable skill uh, that you should know. And uh, here we go. And we're going to do that skill again right here. So now we've got the, the least amount of information I could have and still solve for a line. I've got two points. So let's label our points. This is question 17, x1, y1, x2, y2. Let's find the slope. Slop a slope. Slop, slop a slope. Uh, so let's see, m is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1. Whew, man, double negatives. Yikes. Uh, so negative 7 minus a negative 1 is the same as negative 7 plus 1, right? And their signs are different, so I subtract them. 7 minus 1 is 6. And I take the sign of the more influential, which was 7. So it's negative 6. Let's see, 3 minus 6. Oh, man, different signs again. All right, signs are different. Subtract the numbers. 6 minus 3 is 3. And take the sign of the more influential, which was 6. So that's negative 3. Let's see, let's, uh, let's simplify this. Hey, those minus signs, ching, ching, they cancel out. And let's see, between 6 and 3, 6 divided by 3 is just simply 2. So there's my slope. Uh, which point is easier to work with? Eh, they both kind of have equally ugly numbers. Uh, I'll, I'll just use the first one. So I'll do y minus a negative 1, so that's y plus 1, equals m times parentheses x minus x1. Now, that would be my answer if they just asked for the equation of the line, but they wanted it in slope-intercept form, so let's transform it. Let's convert it. Let's evolve it. Bum, 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 bum. Boom. Don't press B button on this. We don't want to cancel this evolution. Let's see. Uh, 2x minus 12. After I do some distributing and solve for the y. Subtract the 1. And I get y equals negative 2x minus 13. So there's slope-intercept form. Question, what is the y-intercept then? Could anyone tell me that? What's the y-intercept of this equation? None of those were the y-intercept because none of them have zero as its x-coordinate. Thoughts? We can get the y-intercept by looking at slope-intercept form. Which one? Which? What's the value of, right? M is 2. M is 2. Come on, guys. I know it's Monday. <sighs> Ooh. y equals mx plus b, which one's the y-intercept? b equals what? What's the y-intercept? y equals negative 13. Thank you. Woohoo! Right, uh, they didn't ask for that, but I just wanted to point out we've, we've got a slope. We've got a y-intercept. I've got two points that I could plot to draw this line. We've got all sorts of information now. All right, thanks for watching, Internet friends. Have a great day.